Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Sudoku U. This is a puzzle called H20 nucleation, possible H2O nucleation. I think it's H20. It looks like a zero rather than an O. H20 nucleation by uh, Zaubudian? I, I, mm, Zaubudian? I wasn't given a pronunciation guide, and even if I had been, I still would have got it wrong. Um, so, yeah, um, Sudoku U. These are puzzles um, that are often created in um, puzzles classes. I believe these are all made by students of the Puzzles and Paradoxes class by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. Um, and or students, sorry, all made by students of the Puzzles and Paradoxes class of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. I'm stumbling over my words. Um, and it's just fascinating that we, uh, I love the concept of the fact that we are teaching logic and thinking, uh, uh, teach, uh, teaching logic to students again. When I was at university, there were some logic classes, um, but they were kind of being phased out. Um, and thinking logically, I think, is an important thing. Um, and I use, um, like I've actually found I'm using the some of the logic patterns and everything um, that I've learned from puzzles in my day to day job. And it's really, really cool that that's happening. So I, I love that this is happening. Anyway, what you're interested in is the puzzles. So let's get on to this. So I've been told that most of these puzzles are in the sort of coffee break range. So uh, hopefully this won't be too bad, but you're getting multiple puzzles a day on the channel at the moment with the release of March of the Quads. This being a quadruple puzzle, that's just complete happenstance. It's not planned. Um, let's give this a look. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have quadruples. So digits in a quadruple circle must be placed at least once in the four cells touching that circle. So we know that these four cells are going to contain the digits 1, 3, 6, and 8. But around here, we need to place the digits 1, 7, and 9. Now, ignoring the other constraints, it might be possible for both of these to be 1. That wouldn't break the quadruple. Um, but all we know is 1, 7, and 9 must appear at least once in those four cells. Um, and then we've got thermos. Um, so digits on thermos strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So this digit must be higher than this. This digit must be higher than this. This digit must be higher than this. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. And I am going to start right here because one, three, six, and eight. Now, if we look at the thermo, we can't put one partway along a thermo because we would have to go down from there. So if this was a one, this would have to be lower than one and it can't be. If this was a one, this would have to be lower than one and it can't be. But similarly with eight, if this was an eight, this would have to be higher than eight and it can't be. And if this was an eight, this would go nine, 10, and I can't put 10 into the grid. So this is a three, six pair. These are not three and six. And we know the order of these because they're on the thermo. This is the three, this is the six. Three goes two, one, which means this is the eight because of Sudoku, meaning this is the one, and this is fully resolved. This goes six to, goes to seven or eight, and this goes to eight, nine. But that's a, oh, and the eight makes that the nine, and that makes that the seven. And this is fully resolved. This thermo is fully resolved by that quadruple. That's nice. I wonder if I can repeat that. I want to do this one, in fact, because this one has one and nine in the quadruple, and you can never put one or nine partway along a thermo because there's nothing lower than one and there's nothing higher than nine. So this is the one nine pair. The one makes that the nine and that the one. This is the four five pair, and I know the order because it's on a thermo. So this is maximum three, this is maximum two. So this is two or three, this is one or two. This, oh, and the one means that's two, three. This column is missing its five. There's not a five in the center of the grid. I'm disappointed. I like fives in the center of the grid are just really weird. So any, um, and ridiculously common. So anyway, five on this quadruple now is in one of those two. Five is actually in one of those cells. So common quadruple trick is when you have two quadruples, ooh, four and five are in those. When you have um, quadruples that share a, a row or a column border, so these two quadruples share the border between column eight and column nine. 
But in column eight, we can only have, I'm going to use five to start with, but the same applies to four. In column eight, you can only have one five, and in column nine, you can only have one five. So if this takes the five for column eight, this would have to take the five for column nine. Between these, we, we are basically using the two fives in column eight and nine because they share the border. If I was to put the five up here in column eight, this has to pay, take it five in column nine and vice versa. So I can't put a five into any of these cells. If I was to put a five here, on this quadruple, the five would have to go here. And on this quadruple, the five would have to go here. And I've got a conflict and everything is broken. So where they share a border, any shared digits um, can't go in any overlapping cells. Now, there's an exception to that if the quadruples overlap as well, but that's not happening here. So because four and five can't go in any of these cells, in this box, the four and the five have to go here. So there is a four or a five on this, but I'm not sure how to use that yet. But anyway, seven is in, this seven says seven is not in one of those. And I can't put seven here because it goes seven, eight, nine, 10, that doesn't work. So this is a seven. One and nine have to go here now, but I can't put one in either of those two. That's the one. Nine is in one of those two. Not sure, what are these? One, two, three, four, five, and nine. These are four, five, and nine. There's no nine there. There's probably just something I've missed, but this is fine. Oh, where's two in this box? This is two. So this is a triple, six, seven, and eight. So these, well, there must be a three in here. And I can't put it here because this would need to be a two and it can't be. This is the three. This is four, five, nine. And this can't be a nine because this would have to be higher than nine. This is four or five. So three is in one of those two for the quadruple. And this three is saying not there. That's the three. Putting three up here somewhere. Can that be a three? Three, four, five. Three? No, this can't be the three. Because if this is the three, this would be a minimum of six, because it can't be four or five, then seven, eight, nine, ten. This can't be a three. Three is in one of those two. This is starting to be very restricted, because this is a two, six, eight quadruple, but I've got a lot of digits in here that aren't two, six, or eight. But I think I'm looking at this the wrong way. Yeah, roping. This is two, five, nine. This is two, five, nine. So where is the 259 in this box? Oh, the 5 is looking up, making that the 4. That would have done it. So these, the 59 is looking down, making that the 4. And these are 6, 7, and 8. Okay, there's no 7 there. Right. Um, so let's do the same trick here. So 4, 5, 7, 9. This can't be... Well, neither of these can be nine. This can't be a seven because seven, eight, uh, seven. Th well, this is, this can't be a four because this, sorry, this can't be a seven because this has to be higher than it. And this can't be a four because this has to be lower than it. Five, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this can't be a seven. It goes seven, eight, nine, and that's broken. So this is the five. This is the four. I, I got the feeling that was going to be that way, but I couldn't quite see how. Now I can. So that does mean the four is in one of those two, but the five looks down saying the five is there and the four is in one of these two, but these are two, four, and six. Well, there's no four there and there's no four there. This is the four. This is a two, six pair. Okay. But this, these have to be lower than four and they can't be one. So this becomes two and three, making that the six and that the two. The six looks back saying there's no six there. This is seven, eight, so this is eight, nine. This is from seven, eight, nine. Three, four, there is a six in one of those two, but that could be a six. One in this box. This is seven, eight, and eight, nine. And that's a seven, eight, nine triple, but well, again, I've got, this has to be lower than four, maximum three, maximum two. So this is one, two, and two, three. And the one means this is the two and the three. Seven, eight, nine makes this the one. One is in one of those two. 
These are 1, 2, 6, and 8. So that's a 6. Because these can't be 3, 4, 5, 7, or 9. These are 1, 2, 6, 8. And 1, 2, and 8 is already in row 1. So this is the 6. What are these? These are 4, 7, and 9. Well, 4 is not lower, uh, higher than 6. So that's a 7, 9. This becomes the 4. This digit is starting to be a little bit restricted, but not enough. 8 is on this because of the column. But this could go 8, 9, or 7, 8. Not sure which. But this is a triple. 1, 2, not 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, or 8. There's no 1 there. There's no 2 there. Okay. 6. So 5 isn't here. It is something to do with this. 1 in one of those two? These are 1, 7, 8, 9. So 9 is in one of those two. Okay. I'm definitely missing something. What's the... Four isn't here. So four is in one of those. That, can that be four? Four, three, two, one. This can't be a four. If this is a four, the thermo would go four, three, two, one. And I can't put a two there. I can't put a three there. This is not a four. So this is the four because of the fours pointing in. Four can't go in either of those. That one by the four, that one because it would break the thermo. This is a four. Now five is definitely on this thermo. But it's not there because of that five. Pay attention, Bremster. So now four isn't here or here. This is the four. This is one, two, or three. And the two and the three makes it the one. It's really simple if you actually pay attention to what you're doing. These are now two, six, and eight. Because this four means that these have to be two, six, eight in order to put all the digits around the quadruple. There's no one there. The two, eight pair makes that the one. Putting one in one of those two by Sudoku, but that one says not there. I can have my one now. I have received, achieved oneness. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are seven and nine. So minimum five, minimum six, minimum seven, but it can't be seven. So this is eight or nine, giving me an eight, nine pair in the column. Minimum five, minimum six. So five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. Well, it can't be seven, can't be seven. Oh, I can't put two along here and I can't put two there. So this is the two and this is the eight. Okay. One is right there. Oh, yeah, because this can't be a uh, one, a four, or a five. This has to be a one. I've now got it by Sudoku, but I could have been faster if I'd paid attention to the quadruple. And again, this can't be a five because this is two, six, eight. So this is the six. This is an eight. The six makes that the eight and that the nine, which looks down making that the eight, which makes that the seven, makes that the nine. The seven comes out of those. Pay attention to the quadruples, Bremster. The eight means this is the six, and I can take six out of those. This is a pair. Three, five. And the five is looking down, making that the three, which makes that the five. I still need to put a six in one of those two. But not sure. So these are three, five six and seven. There's no seven in either of those. So seven is in one of those two. There's no six there. There's no five there. Oh, there's no five in any of those. So that's the five. Take five out of those. This is three, six, seven. So this is the eight and this is the six. This is seven, eight, nine. 
which I could have got early. I oh, know. Yeah. Uh, whatever. It's not as if I were, didn't see it. I just was doing other stuff. You can solve puzzles in lots of different orders. The three looks down, making the three six a six, taking six out of there. This is a three seven pair. Have I done all the quadruples now? Yes, but that nine means that's the five and that's the nine, which looks back making that the seven and that the nine, which looks back making that the seven, which looks down making that the three and that the seven. The nine looks down making that the eight, which makes that the seven, which makes that the nine and that the eight, which makes that the seven. These are six and nine. Nice. These, is that where I want to look? No, I use the eight to make that the seven and that the eight. Now this is a six or a nine and the nine is looking up making six, nine, six. Now I'm down to triples. Two, four, nine. The two and the four makes that the nine, taking nine out of those. The four looks down, making that the two and that the four. These are two, three, and five. The two and the three in column six makes that the five. I remove the five. People do, I still get comments saying, why do you do that rather than just type in the digits? I want people who are watching the video to be able to clearly follow what's going on. The two looks up, making that the three which makes that the two, and that is the solution to the puzzle. Five solves in 17 days, we can definitely get that up into the hundreds. Nice and fun. Really good interaction of, um, of quadruples and thermos. Doesn't have to be diabolically hard to be fun. I, I love this concept. Now, I am exploring some harder puzzles. I've got some in the queue. Um, some of them will not be blind solves, but these Sudoku U puzzles so far, yeah, just loading them up and knocking them down, having a lot of fun. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.